welcome to Nail Heaven. My name is Charlotte Angel. How can I help you? Yeah. Just want a basic manicure. Mm-hmm, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll select the colours first. There's a huge range of colours in here that we'll go through. Once you've selected your colour, then I'll start the manicure, okay? Okay, so, do you have a rough idea of what colour you're going to go for? Is it a nude, um, a red, a pastel? Right, so no idea at all. That's fine, no, that's fine. What we'll do is I'll just show you some colours. Let me know if you're feeling it or not. If you're not feeling it, then I won't show you colours like that. If you are, then we'll narrow it down until you find one okay. Well, I'll start with this one. No? Okay, it's fine. How about uh, this one? You like that one? Okay, so we're feeling like a pastel -y pink. How about that one? Okay. Um, put another choice in pastels. No, it's fine. Hmm. Let me see. But this one needs shaking up a bit. No, okay. So you're going along the pink, the pink layer there, that's fine. So how about this one? You like that one? Yeah, we'll keep, keep that one out. Um, what about this one? You like that one too? Alright. Mm. We'll need that and It's not a glitter you're after. How about this one? No, it's fine. Right. I think I'll just try one more. How about this? You like that one? Okay, so these are the colours. Just Move this to one side. I know exactly how you feel. Sometimes I know exactly what colour I'm after, I know how I'm feeling, and other times I know I want to colour on, but I've just no idea which one I want. So, if I show you a pink and a red together, this one is a vodka and caviar. Um, this is a really beautiful pillar box red. It was in the James Bond range of OPI when they came out. Quite an old one. I think it's um, six, six, seven year old this colour uh, from the collection. And then we have pink flamenco, which is a lovely vibrant pink. It's very very similar to the first one you looked at, which is shocking pink, but this one is just a little bit more pastel-y. This has just got a, a kick of something, almost a little tint of purple. And then this other Essie one 
is heading a little bit towards the red side. So this is more of a, although it's pink, you can kind of see the, the purple that's been mixed in. The last one is Pinkadoodle. Now this one is very, it's, it's very subtle. If we were to put this one on, you would barely notice you've got something on your nails. Is that what you're going after or do you want, actually want to be able to see something on your nails? Right, so we'll put this one to one side then because that's not what you're after. The glitter is Barry M Pink Silver Glitter. I love this one. Glitters are my favourite to wear, my least favourite to take off. Flying yet, so down to these two. What are you feeling? This is a very classic colour, um, kind of goes with anything. You can jazz up a really plain outfit with a nice pillar box red nail, or if you're heading more into the spring summer vibe, go for this. What would I choose? Oh, um, I've actually just, what have I just had on my nails? I've just taken a pink off my nails this afternoon actually. I think it was the Essie one. Um, so I'm feeling pink at the minute so I would wear this but it's totally down to you. You're gonna go for this one. Okay, you change your mind. It's not my fault. Okay. So all I've got is a, a base coat. You can get, um, yeah, where is it actually, it's in here. You can get dual base and top coats, but a base coat, a purpose base coat is very different from a dual one. This is essentially just a clear polish and I don't ever think they work. So a tip if you ever want to do your nails yourself, always buy a separate base coat because you'll see with this it's white it's white and it's almost got a bit of a goopy con like goopy texture so that the polish sticks to it which is what makes it a good base coat so take your hand Um, it's just to take the dirt and oil off. Um, not necessarily people do come on with nail varnish on but even if you haven't had nail varnish on for a while um, you can still get oil which stops the nail polish sticking. Do you um, like 
like your cuticles push back I ask because not everybody likes it personally I don't I find that when I've had my cuticles trimmed I get um, like wicklows and I call them just those little tiny bits of skin that I always pull back you don't mind it Yeah, it's not so much that when they're pushed up, it's um, when they're trimmed, I get just, they're, they're awful. Yeah. So I tend, I can still push mine back, but I don't actually trim them off. Some, when I was younger I had the plastic ones um, but they don't I find the plastic ones actually they don't do as an effective job and they can hurt more I mean a metal one I can obviously hurt you more with a metal one um, if I do it wrong but I don't do it wrong so for me the metal ones are much more effective There you go. Right hand. I've barely got anything. finger um, just because it looks like you've already got a little cut there. I don't want to make it any worse. That sounds painful. I've done that many a time. Your nails are quite nice shape. Do you do them yourself? Yeah. Do you, do you want to keep them like that? And I'll just tidy them up. Yeah. Let's take that hand. They're a, they're a good shape. You can tell you take care of them.
hand with them. That doesn't really need much. Just do them two. This is super quick drying, like dries in seconds. Well, I know that's why I buy um quick drying polish. Um, because there's nothing worse than people having to wait. And that sometimes can take up, like if it takes up a lot of seats, I'll get the next client in. Because I've got the, um, I want to just wait for the nails to dry. And this one. We do, yeah. Um, I prefer gel because it lasts longer. Yeah, it just it's it sets. We've got like a blue light over there. We've got that blue light, um, and it just put it under there, and it sets it, and it goes a lot harder. I mean, it does it does act like normal polish in the end. But um, yeah, it's it's picking up popularity, especially um, especially at home. A lot of people like to do them at home now. Oh, it's dried off. No, <clears throat> gotta keep the tools of the trade clean. off just to take the oils off people's nails I use that to clean the lids and just keep some tidy are they dry now yep they're fine it's ready for a coat double one will only need one coat which is what I love about it there's nothing worse than um, having to put two coats of polish on your nails because it takes forever to dry I apologise my concentration face Thank you. 
yeah, well, when you do it several times a day, you get kind of good at it. Keep my tummy rumbling. Well, it's not rumbling, it's uh, digestion, digesting. Oh, I had a lovely, um, a lovely chicken sandwich. Um, I like to bulk cook chicken, like I'll buy a big batch of chicken, fresh chicken, and then, um, I'll cook it in like a seasoning, like a Schwartz seasoning, I think I use like a barbecue on this time, just cook it all in bulk, um, and then I've got it in the fridge just to eat whenever I want, so two slices of bread, put a little bit of butter in the middle, um, pop that in the microwave just till the bread heated up a little bit and the butter started to melt, heated the chicken up, oh, it's divine. It was so moist. They give us, sometimes I get chicken that's, yeah. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? It's like you're trying to enjoy it. It's like, this is so dry. But I love, love well-cooked chicken. There we go. Those should dry in a minute or two. Just clean this up, all right. I'm gonna have a little sip of my drink. <clears throat> it's sticking to me. I'm struggling to open the lid. I'm on like a health kick at the minute. When I say health kick, it's not something that I want to be temporary. I kind of, I want to make a few changes in what I eat, how much water I drink. And this um, is the attempt to change in my water. I don't really like just water, um, so I don't want to add like juice to it, concentrated juice, because then it's juice and it's not water. So I add stuff as healthy as possible. I put the juice of either half a lime or half a lemon, uh, which I've already squeezed and frozen. It's just an ice cube I pop in to make things quicker. I do the same with raspberries. I blend raspberries up with water. I sieve all of the um, seeds out of them because I hate raspberry seeds in the bottom of my drink and then that like, like pulp I freeze and then I've got fresh essentially fresh raspberry ice cubes pop two of those in a couple of leaves of mint blend it up and it's surprisingly nice it's um the mint makes it the mint definitely makes it but it's nice just to have a bit of a bit of something to a bit of subtlety. So the raspberry, um, this is like the second time I've filled this up, so it's a lot weaker. But it's making it's got a big bit of mint. It's making drinking more water a bit easier. Um, but I just oh, like being here every day. I just eat so much like convenience food and sugar. Like oh for lunch I'll have a pack of biscuits and that's like my lunch and oh, it's so bad, so bad for me. I don't really drink, I don't smoke, I don't eat healthy on a morning or night, it's just the afternoon so I'm trying to um make changes to kick the sugar habit. 
We have a few of those. Very good. Yeah. Oh, I love this stuff. Yeah, I mean, OPI. Out of all the brands, OPI is definitely my favourite. Um, it's got the the widest variety of colour and it, it's ever changing. They're always bringing out new collections. So they brought out a lovely, was it Katy Perry? I think it was a Katy Perry collection. It was divine, just lovely glitters and vibrant colours and things. Nicki Minaj's hers was really nice as well. Um, so OPI is definitely one of my favourite brands. Not necessarily the longest lasting, it chips um, just as quick as the others. The quickest chipping one, I wouldn't even say it chips, it, um, it rubs off so you know when the bottom of your finger it starts to come off because it's, it's just being rubbed off. I find the worst for that is Barry M, which is a shame because I do love Barry M colours, I still have them, um, but yeah, they're the, they're the quickest ones to come off. Right, a couple of fingers left. Again, this should take a couple of minutes. So, touch dry in 60 seconds. Um, it's number seven, yeah it is, number seven. I'm not opposed to shops on brands. I like to try and try different things, so if a shop brings out their own version, I'll give it a try, because it might be you know, this hidden gem, but because it's from a small chemist, big companies might not try it and then we might never know about it. Last finger. There we go. I don't think this top needs much cleaning. And for the rest of the day. Yeah, I do that. Well, if I ever have to get my nails done in the day, um, <clears throat> I always try and plan things that don't involve me going in my purse, um, don't involve anything that involves trying on clothes because I'm dragging my nails through. So, although it's Polish is obviously touch dry. It's not dry underneath. No, it doesn't need heat or anything. is a gorgeous it's like a very deep red with goldy tiny gold like a golden sheen it's not enough to notice on the nail or I think this is just called red glitter from Barry M I love that one it's my Dorothy one possibly that one I do like my reds. A minute longer. It's not quite touch dry in 60 seconds.
trying to drink at least two of these a day. If it's nice enough, I'll gulp it down like if I filled it with um, a smoothie. I've perfected a smoothie. Like, it's, it's taken me about four months but I've perfected what goes in it, how much, and oh. And the secret, mint goes in. I think mint's always needed in a smoothie, but um, crystallised stem ginger. I put two little pieces of crystallised stem ginger and every time I've given someone it to try, they're like, what is in this? There's something. And I go through all the ingredients and then when I get to the ginger, they're like, that's what's in here. It's like my secret ingredient. The only problem with mixing this mint up though is um, I've now got loads of little tiny green bits that can get stuck in my teeth. So I've probably been sat here with like mint in my teeth and not, not about it. Good enough. They're fine. Just watch out for that thumb. That's the last one I did. Just keep that um, protected a little bit longer. Are you paying by a card of cash? Yeah, if you just want to come around there then. 